Greetings YouTube and welcome to the Blue Corner and to a Card for Dragon deck profile. Fire's Collection is now out and I was very fortunate enough to pick up everything I needed for Naros out of the set. So as a result, I can do some deck updates. Although I'm really only going to be featuring two on the channel and that's going to be Vanquisher and the one in this video you can tell by the title. I'm not going to do deck updates for Descendant or Kaiser or Brawler because uh, it's really just a matter of like just fitting a closer dragon, two MP dragons and changing the starter to a skating Draco Kid as, yeah. Like the dynamic, those the dynamics of those decks have not really changed from before, so it's just n not really worth it for me to go to the trouble of doing full on deck updates. So instead I'm just gonna talk about the two that I feel are definitely worth talking about in the cor current format, cause they get big benefits from it. So there's obviously Vanquisher because it has that really good long game, and if you're able to get the Generation Break 8, then you just win. If your opponent's not dead after Closer Dragon, then you just V-Max them. And then we have a good old Seek Command Dragon here. So, Steve, Meme Command Dragon, he goes by many names, but he's become considerably stronger because Impede Dragon has great synergy with this guy's Limit Break. And as a result, uh, this is, in my opinion, the second best Narakami deck moving forward, and it is hands down the best Eradicator deck, and it doesn't even run very many Eradicator units. Just enough to use Eradicator Counter Blast because of a certain Vanguard I'm playing here. So, that being said, let's get started. So, this list is based off of one that topped in Japan a couple weeks ago, which made me really happy because that list was almost already identical to what I was playing before. It just was running different grade 3s and more of a certain grade 1 ratio than I was playing before. So... Good to know that my thought process was on the correct path. And with that being said, starting Vanguard is two copies of First Under Draco Kid because, hey, being able to potentially restand a, a sweep command during either player's turn is actually pretty important because, yeah, MP Dragon can trigger this thing. So if you're running Break Rides in your deck, you can throw this into the soul and attempt to Break Ride Sweet Command Dragon in your opponent's battle phase for just extra memes. And then speaking of good old sweep so it's no longer the end of the world if you draw this because he actually has a very good limit break in tandem with MP dragon which is counter blast 2 soul blast 2 when your opponent's rear guard gets popped by one of your card effects you kill something in the front row draw a card and gain 5k power it's not once per turn so if you have four soul and four counter blasts you can swipe out uh, sweep ha their entire front row draw two cards and get 10,000 power for the duration of the turn and then his other skill is on ride, suck up an eradicator, and snipe something in the front row. Uh, the limit break is actually becoming much more relevant as we get more G Guardians that have retire effects. Bulwark Dragon could sometimes get this guy off, but it's really MP Dragon that just really synergizes well with this card. And as a result, your opponent has to be very careful on how they attack you when you're at four damage, especially especially if they're playing like big power columns, the deck, or they can perform multiple attacks, but they need front or rear guards to do so. As if they just attack with, say, a Negro Rook, you can use MP Dragon to kill something, and you can use your four counter blasts and your full and your four soul to kill the Negro Rook and the whatever is in the opposite column. And now your opponent has to, well, they have to have they have to be on Negro Songer or Night Rose, but chances are they're probably on Dragut or Goach. So now they just have their Vanguard attack for the turn. Because you'll have killed the Negro, you'll kill, you'll have killed their front row attackers before Negro Bone can actually do anything. So, uh, so that's kind of relevant. Brave and Paladins in general is a bit more difficult to tackle. Like, unfortunately, Impede Dragon and Sweep do nothing against Blasters once that eleven drops, and that's really. But then again, Gantzlot just kind of cancer in general. Uh, but yeah, Sweep's limit break is very 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 relevant now that we have MP Dragon because getting a guaranteed way to trigger this guy's effect is uh, quite potent and then for the backup grade threes you have a couple options you've got Descendant, Gauntlet Buster, or Break Rides I'm currently trying out what I saw on the list and that was Sparkhorn Dragon as one being able to immediately threaten the restand the moment you get to grade three has become more prominent now that we're more early game oriented in today's Vanguard but with the grade two stalling and the vanillas and stuff and this guy being tanky allows you to tie with vanillas too and he has a limit break too that's actually kind of relevant here if you're at four damage so uh 
if he swings the Vanguard, Limit Break 4, he gains 5 power, so he's now a 15 attacker to your opponent's 10, so with a 7k booster behind it, that becomes 22, and they have to drop a considerable amount of cards from their hand in order to block it if they don't have a PG, but... He's ran for his other skill, which is on hit Catabus when Eradicator. Your opponent chooses a rearguard and retires it if he hits the Vanguard. And this will trigger first Thunder. And yeah, it's just it's just a great three you can run that can immediately threaten your opponent with the restand. And we have G units that benefit from having 10k hearts now. Him for the great twos. Four Eradicator Vanillas. Four Chaturas. And four Voltage Arms. So. Yeah, I was already moving towards 10Ks in this deck anyway because A, Eradicators have 10K Vanillas, and B, uh, having the 10K body is kind of really relevant against decks like that just aggro you off the gate. Then, four Perfect Guard Gs, four Strata Fists, four AK Vanillas, and a Limit Breaker Remover. Limit Breaker Remover is pretty straightforward. Turn Superman on when you have three damage or less. And the AK Vanillas... I will take a moment to talk about because they do have some very important dynamics with the Narukami as a whole. One, having an AK body prevents your opponent from rushing you on grade one. They can't just throw down a 7k attacker and be like, ugh, guard this. I'm like, no, I'm at 10. So they have to call a booster so that their 7ks can attack you. Likewise, if they have a 7k vanguard and a 5k booster, you can 10k no past that. You can 5k one past that. And they have got that. But the other end really silly interaction is that this guy paired up with a Chatra makes a 19 line. So if your opponent's at a 9k Vanguard for grade 2, then they need to drop 15k shield to prevent this from hitting. And basically the question is, do they want a minus 2 so that, can, so that I don't plus 1? And if they do, then hey, it's more or less the same trade and advantage. It's just I take an extra card of their hand as opposed to getting an extra card to my hand and the bind. But the bind would actually be kind of nice, but yeah. So, TLDR, if you're playing Chatra, I highly would recommend considering running AK Vanillas. Like, I'm, I've been running two of these in Vanquisher for a while now, and I kind of want to take out the four. I just don't know if I want to cut out some other cards for it entirely. Then for the triggers, we have four Rash F because we run Vanquisher Strides. Four Meditate Draco Kids, so his effect is if he is discarded for the effect of MP Dragon, you can Soul Blast one. As long as you have one or less open counter blasts, you can turn one of them face up. So it's a nice counter charging engine, which is great. Four eradicator draws, because we run rainbow triggers in Narakami, unless they're playing Kaiser or Brawlers. And then four War Drum Brawler Halaka. This guy has been actually pretty good tech in sweep as a whole because his ability is when your opponent's rear guard in the front row gets popped by one of your card effects during your turn, you can pop him to pop a back row. However, it doesn't matter how that thing dies, so it can either be an effect like Conquest Dragon, or you can just simply hit the rear guard, like with uh, one of your rear guards, or your vanguard itself if you think that they have a PG. So, it's just another way to trigger sweep since he's not Generation Break 1. You can just have your vanguard swing at their rear guard, and then they let that die, this dies, you. Oops. Like, I've actually gotten this guy to trigger my superior ride a couple times, so. He's very good, and hey, stand triggers in a deck that runs Voltage and Closer Dragon is by no means bad choices for tech. And then for the strides, we have four Voltage, two VMAX, two Conquest, and one Closer Dragon. So these are all pretty straightforward. Voltage and Conquest flip. VMAX benefits from having Voltage's face up in the G zone, so he's just good tech. And Closer Dragon is just silly. So, just a quick recap of his effect. Generation Break 8, when he is placed on Vanguard, you retire all rear guards. Then your opponent binds every single card in their drop zone phase up. And then, this guy gains a new skill of, during your turn, all units you control gain 2,000 power for every card in both bind zones. Uh, generally speaking, when this guy hits the board, you're going to be at Thunderstrike 17 and higher. So, just think about the fact that you'll be at minimum plus 34 power for all of your units. Like, we hit Neo Nectar numbers now with this guy. And the thing about this guy too is, even if he doesn't kill your opponent somehow, then they're also in a really bad position because they're gonna be at, again, Thunderstrike 17. So now your VMAX is definitely online. It's just a simple matter of killing things so that you can swing and then ping them for game. 
Not once, but twice. And if you somehow still have a Vanguard of Voltage left over, then hey, you have 3,000 times 17 to 20. It's He's he's really good. Like He is definitely a one of staple in Naros getting forward. And I feel like your goal with Naros at this point is to try to turbo into Closer Dragon so that you can either A, Closer Dragon and win, or B, Closer Dragon follow up by VMAX. And then for the remaining strides, once a breeze. And then the last stride I run well, is basically anything depending on what you're playing. Like if you're playing Gauntlet Buster, then this is Finish Blow. If you're playing Descendant, then you cut another card to run Zillion. If you're playing Break Rides, then this can be Zorus or another Closer or another VMAX. Doesn't really matter. If you're playing Sparkhorn Dragon like I am, then you run a copy of Snow Element Valanche as its effect is. Counter Blast 1. If you have a heart card with 10,000 or less power, you draw a card. Just simple, plus 1. And his other effect is when he hits the Vanguard and you have a 10k body for, if you have a 10k heart or less, then you get a heal trigger from your drop zone back to your hand. So it's a nice little draw engine and it gives you immediate pressure because if you say had the G Guardian on while well, you have Sparkhorn or you double healed and you have a healing drop zone, you can just pick one of those back up in addition to just getting a nice simple draw. Like just getting a simple draw with Naros is so good. Like look at Kagro. They now have, uh, Blade Master now has an on attack draw card and they're starting to top tournaments. Who would have thought given control decks a draw engine would actually pay off, hmm? And then for the G Guardians, we have two of the new guy in P-Dragon. So his initial effect I read wrong because uh, Coalition had a bad translation. His effect is when he's placed on Guard Circle, you can choose a face down G Guardian from your G zone, flip a face up. If you do, your opponent retire binds one of their units. Then, if the number of rear guards your opponent has is basically two more than what you currently have, they kill an additional card. Now, ways to set this up is if they're currently at only one more rear guard than you currently have when you're using the skill, then you can just intercept because Guardians don't count as rear guards, so you're now suddenly at one less rear guard, and that will trigger this guy's effect to kill a second time, but. Yeah, it's just a battle phase retire, which triggers Sweet Command Dragon, Dragonic Vanquisher, uh, Gauntlet Buster Dragon, and any other Narakami Vanguards that we may get into down the road that have effects that trigger whenever something dies. And he is a two of staple in the deck. Then, one Bulwark Dragon, one Vitres, and I'm running one Algleam because I do like the ability to just filter cards like draw triggers out of my hand for things like you want you want to see heal triggers so that you can g guard because the sooner you're able to start g guarding the sooner you get the generation break eight and more importantly the sooner you can get to this guy so that you can stop your opponent from doing multi-attacks or big power comms because while mp dragon may not be able to directly stop a neo nectar's 50,000 power line you can use him in order to kill something and then sweet command dragon can kill off those lines and you just go from there and that's the deck itself so like I said before, it's my opinion that I feel that Sweet Command Dragon is actually a lot better now than he used to be. Like, he is, in my opinion, better than Kaiser, Brawlers, and Descendant. And that's just because, in addition to being able to do the potential restand, you now have the ability to use his Limit Break on your opponent's turn more consistently. And not having to run things like Balog and, uh, what's his name? Uh, heat more dragon is that his name yeah heat more dragon the, those cards that were the backbone of the hand trap Kagro, you don't have to run those now because your g guardian is your balog and your vanguard is heat more dragon and that saves you on a ton of space you can just run better cards in its place and by better cards i mean vanillas although technically speaking the vanillas do put in a lot of work so yeah if you been wanting to try out sweet command dragon here's a list of work off of and if Bushiroad is going to support Eradicators in set 12, which they probably will because, again, Kagro keep getting Seal Dragon support despite the fact nobody wants it, then support Sweep. I say that because it's the Eradicator deck that's actually been doing things since the G era started. And honestly, just giving Sweep Command some more tools to work with wouldn't be the bad idea. Like, just give us a couple of cards that give us the ability to put Sweep Command Dragons in our hand and drop zone back into the deck. And that way we have the chance to superior ride them more consistently as the game goes on. We don't need a new starter. Just, I don't know, give us an 11k grade 2 that says, reveal a Sweep Command Dragon in your hand. Put it into your deck. If you do, soul charge one, drop one, counter charge one, I don't know. Just, yeah. And give us a grade 1 that also does something if you have a Sweep Command in hand, because... The biggest problem with this deck is drawing your sweep command. So let's give us our let's so give us cards that allow us to put sweep back into the deck. 
And yeah, that's pretty much it for the deck profile. So stay tuned, as there will be a Dragonic Vanquisher deck profile at some point. I just have to quickly decide what backup I'm going to run in that deck, because truth be told, I am actually considering running Sweet Command in that deck as a backup. I don't know if I'm going to run First Thunder alongside him, but I do like the ability to just use Sweet Command's Limit Break, but Vanquisher is also very counter blast heavy, so I don't know if I can consistently pull that off. I might just go with Gauntlet Buster again. We'll see. Until then, though, this is what I got. Thank you guys for watching, and until next time, this is Booster89, jacking out.